Well, the internet can be a lifeline for parents searching for answers. And for one Cobb County couple, a Google search helped them solve a medical mystery about what was happening to their baby. But the story didn't end there. The Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin joins us now to explain why. Beth. And Tom and Sine, the story basically is that one online search led to another. And pretty soon, Jackie and Olin Arnold had found not just a diagnosis for their son, Logan, but a community of hundreds of other parents all over the world whose children have the same very rare genetic syndrome. Who's that? Is that our favorite guy? Logan Arnold is a seven-year-old smiler. He's the happiest kid that you've ever met. There's just something about him that draws people to him. And Jackie and Olin Arnold fell in love with Logan instantly. But both also sensed almost immediately something wasn't quite right with their baby. Logan had an elongated face, oddly shaped ears, and features, Jackie says, that almost made him look like an old man. At 10 days, he stopped eating and needed emergency surgery. And then he wasn't meeting his infant milestones. So Olin picked up his laptop. I literally Googled all the characteristics that, you know, I saw upturned ears, his eyes were wide set, um, very um, happy disposition. He found three syndromes. I started looking up pictures of the kids and I found uh, a photo of a little girl in Ireland that looked like, you know, his doppelganger. You know, they were separated at birth, it, it seemed. So I um, started researching um, her particular syndrome and found out it was Moat Wilson syndrome. If Olin was correct, Logan had a genetic disorder so rare. There are only about three hundred known cases worldwide. So the Arnolds brought Logan to Emory to see a geneticist. A blood test confirmed Moat Wilson. Now the Arnolds needed a plan. Fortunately, we found some Facebook groups um, that have been a tremendous support. You start figuring out what therapies to get them in. You know, when did they start speech therapy? When did they start um, physical therapy and occupational therapy? Moat Wilson can cause moderate to severe intellectual disability. Most children speak very little, if at all. Let's go swing. But Logan seems to understand what's being said. Even though he's nonverbal, you know, he's very expressive in his eyes <laughs> and the noises that he makes. What do you want to look at? Logan's grandfathers are both helping take care of him, which makes life easier for Jackie, who recently gave birth to three and a half month old Lucy. Finding doctors was more difficult. A lot of times when we go to doctors, we're the ones telling them about the syndrome. Dr. Jose Garza is Logan's pediatric gastroenterologist. He's a great kid. Dr. Garza is helping Logan with severe bowel issues because Logan also has Hirschsprung disease, a painful intestinal disorder that affects more than half of Moat Wilson children. Many need surgery and daily help with bowel movements. Surgery is life-saving, but that doesn't get them exempt afterwards of complications because of the illness itself. But Logan finds the good, playing baseball with Ackworth's Horizon League for children with special needs. Not just loving the game. Can you give daddy a kiss? But loving life. If you think about unconditional love, <laughs> that's what you get from him Aww. all the time, unconditional love. <laughs> And Jackie and Olin now are part of the Moat Syndrome Foundation, which recently launched an online patient registry. And it will allow parents and doctors and support groups to share whatever they're learning about this condition. And that's really important because this condition is so rare. You know, doctors, many of them, pediatricians, have never seen a patient mm -hmm. with it. You know, so this right. they can gain so much from a registry like this. They also meet people travel from all over the world once a year, parents to share their stories. And that Facebook group, just incredible helpful. What a wonderful network. And so heartwarming to see that he's surrounded by such love. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Thank you, Beth.